Hello all, this is a look at set 31093 Riverside Houseboat. Um, this is a creator free in one set, so it does actually have two other official build um, instructions with them. I however only have it in this main um, River Houseboat build, so this is the one I'm going to be showing today. Um, this is a really nice set, it's a really nice fun little set. Um, I talked about it a bit quite briefly in my uh, full collection tour video. One of the things I enjoy so much about this set is um, the colouring. It has that sort of the exact same colouring as the old fishing store, that sort of light pale green and brown. And that's something I really enjoy about this set. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it matches it really well. And I've got it displayed uh, right next to it. Anyway, let's look at the minifigures first, shall we? And you get two in this set, which is good because not too often creative friend ones have minifigs. This one does. You get... Um, I can only presume are a dad and a daughter. That's how I've imagined it. That's how I've got it displayed. You've got the dad there. He comes in a nice sort of a red shirt with the green trousers. I guess the green trousers to be like a fishing sort of waders. I think they're called like big wellies. They sort of overall sort of things. Really nice um, top design. It's a really sort of neutral sort of design. That could fit with sort of any sort of minifig in a Lego city. He does have a sort of a face there, just like a smiley face, and then like a scared face on the other side there as well. Um, I normally have him displayed with the scared face, which I will show you in a bit. And he comes with a fishing rod, which I believe is actually the whip. I think that's just the old whip design they did with um, Indiana Jones, but they just reused it as a fishing rod, and that works really well. And I've got a fish attached to that as well. And then it also comes with the daughter here she looks happy enough like i said a really nice sort of neutral uh design there they haven't done the waist thing which is really good so that could work for a guy or a girl the smaller light purple uh, legs obviously because she's a young girl so she has the shorter legs and she comes with a camera which she's using to take pictures of all the wildlife around her does she have a second face no no she doesn't but she does have a hood on her back so that's really cool a little extra bit as well there and yes she's using that to take pictures of wildlife and that's something so good with this set. It comes with so many animals. Like, I didn't realise at first. This technically has four animals in it. I mean, two of them are just these little... Well, five animals. Two of them are these little fish. You get one there. And there's another one here that I currently have in the back of the uh, boat. So, yeah, you get two of those. And if that wasn't enough, you also get, uh, load, you get three other animals. Two birds and, of course, the big crocodile. Let's look at these birds first because I absolutely love them. This is like a little brick-built pelican. I'm really starting to enjoy brick-built animals more. I didn't think I liked them as much as I did. I always thought, oh, they look a bit out of place, especially when you have brick-built animals and, like, actual animals together, like, say, the crocodile. Lego do, like, a minifig crocodile, which is just one piece or two pieces of the head bit. They've done that for years. So, like, I imagine if you had this and that crocodile together, that might look a bit jarring, but just, just doing one kind of fits, I think. But anyway, this pelican... It's a really nice design. It uses the teeth bits for the wings, which is really cool. It's got just a see-through bit up there to represent the eyes. And you can immediately tell that's a pelican. That's what I really like about it. And it comes with this little pole. And I normally have mine on display with the pelican there, attached to the old fishing store with the uh, little daughter taking a picture of it. Um, this, however, is probably like my favourite part of the entire build. This sort of like little kingfisher, possibly? Magpie? I'm not too sure. It's supposed to be some sort of like wet like lake bird i don't know if i'm using the right term there but look at that that's just five bricks used to make an animal and that's so good and i very rarely see such a small amount of bricks being used to uh, display something and that just captures it perfectly you look at that and you immediately know it's supposed to be like a little bird and i just think that's so really cool like i said just five bits just one bit there two bits with the wings uh the cheese slope up there for the head and then one of those teeth, bit, but in, teeth bits, but in black for the beak. And that just is really perfect. I like to have that sitting there. Ooh. Put that back on. I'm going to drop everything. And yes, I'm going to drop everything. Stay. And of course, you get the alligator as well. And he looks a bit sad at the moment. And that's because of the way the eyes are presented. And that's what's really good with these eyes. They can just one little plate can represent so many emotions. They really capture it well. Like there, he looks happy. There. He looks sad as we just saw but you do it like that and he looks really angry and that's how you're supposed to display it but the eyes are quite loose so they move quite easily so you can just like picking this up and like moving it around can quickly change his appearance and of course you can have the eyes like each eye looking different i tend to keep it looking angry and he's a really good build just a small build the smaller build of the bigger build of this 
The legs are movable, the tail is movable. Really cool, and he actually comes with, oh, that's not stuck down properly. He actually comes with a stud on his mouth, and I think what you're supposed to do there is put the bird on it. So it's just about to chomp down on it. <laughs> no, I don't do that, I just have the bird sitting on the side. So that's all like the animals and minifigures of this. Let's look at the main build here, the actual uh, river house boat. So of course, it is a boat. First, well, first and foremost, it's a boat, and it's a really nice looking boat. Lego, they really do stuff like this. I'd love like a full like barge from Lego, like a proper like Amsterdam barge. That would be such a nice build. Maybe they've done it in the past and I haven't noticed it. But yeah, you got like the little uh, can't gondoling. Is that the right word? Can't even remember gondoling sort of bit there. You got the lights at the front here, the rubber ring. Got some like foliage down the front there, just to add some extra detail, make it look more homely. Because this is a houseboat, as we'll see in a minute. So it has that more sort of home quality to it. Some bits up there, some more flowers up there. Got the little bucket deck there with the fish in it, what the uh, guys just caught, like a little tap and a little bowl here as well. Really nice, like I said, this isn't like most other boats Lego make. If Lego ever make boats, it's like speed boats or pirate ships. This is just a completely different level of boat Lego have made here and I really enjoy it. And of course, like I said, it is a houseboat as well. And you can actually look inside the houseboat part of it. So the top comes off. And you can use this light to pull it open. And before I pull it open, I just love this design. The fact that the light not only is there for aesthetic purposes, but it doubles as like an easy hinge to open it instead of just being like this big blocky hinge coming off the side. It's sort of like the function and design work together. But yeah, and inside you have a little house, which is really sweet. You have a TV up on the wall just there, another light, there's the TV, there's the light. You have like a tiny little kitchenette here with the cup holder just there with the little sink. And um, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Perhaps, I, I don't know. Perhaps it could possibly even be supposed to be like a little hob to cook your fish up on. Maybe these are supposed to be like a little oven or maybe they're just drawers, I don't know. Oh, that's a really bad shot there. Obviously you've got the wheel with the chair and the chair, oh no, the chair does spin. The chair can, can spin and it also can fall off. Let me pop that back on quickly. Yeah, so that can all spin as well. The wheels there, so you can steer the boat from inside. And just down there is the tiniest little bed. And the camera doesn't really want to focus on that, does it? And you can see it there with the orange covers. That's just a really nice design there for that. That's like, it, it captures pretty much everything you need for a house. You've got the kitchen, you've got the bed, you've got the TV. What else more could you need on your holidays? That's really good. And like I said, that just closes back over. And then you can just put the roof back on and you wouldn't even know. There we go, that's all back on there. So as I said, I really enjoy this set and I do have a specific way of displaying it. So I tend to put the uh, little magpie there. I have the girl at the front. She normally sits there. Just there like that. I have the pelican there, so she's the one taking the picture of the pelican. So she's all happy having a wonderful time at the front of the, at the, front of the boat. While her dad, on the other hand, is sitting at the back here, fishing. And how I normally have it displayed is I have his scared face on. Just like that. So he's sitting there looking all scared because even though he's just caught a fish, that fish has brought up an alligator as well. I think mean, that's so good. He's like, minding my burning business, catching a fish. Oh my God, there's an alligator coming up for me. And that's the good thing with Lego, it's a freeze frame. You don't really need to know what happens afterwards. We can just admire this as humour. We don't need to know what actually happens to the, happens to the dad afterwards. Does he get gobbled up? We don't know, because Lego is just like a moment in time, which I really enjoy. And with this sort of way of displaying it, I love how it catches like both ends of the spectrum. You've got this absolute fear at this end. And this girl having a really fun, joyous time with all her birds on this end. And Together, it just makes a really, really, really fun set. Like I said, I'm a big fan of this set. Really happy to own it. It's a real proud part of my collection that I'm happy to have in my collection. And I'm hoping that we stay there for many years to come. Um, I think that's everything now, guys. Take care.